Hi there, it's Susan here again. Welcome back to my channel. And don't be scared. Anyway, I told you I was gonna go to that uh, Lisa's Warehouse uh, place that I told you that they were having in Toronto. And um, I got a few skincare products that I wanted to share with you. And also just to show you a few of my new products that I bought from Sephora. So here we go. Okay, so mm, first step is to examine the canvas. Anyway, here we go. First I'm gonna use uh, by Elizabeth Grant and it's a neck cream and it's, I can't say it's working, but it feels good. And who knows, it could be working. Maybe it is, because my friends say that your neck looks better, so. Because it was pretty saggy before I had the, the surgery. So of course, adding age and weight loss, rapid weight loss. That's gonna do a number on your skin, right? Hopefully it doesn't do any more damage, but I think I'm done. And then I bought an eye, an eye cream. It's a vitamin C eye cream and it's, I've bought it before and it's pretty good. It's very light and it's supposed to um, help brighten the area. I have to be careful with certain eye creams. I get, uh, I'm barely sensitive to them, in the day at least. In the nighttime, it doesn't matter so much. I use a different one at nighttime. I use their caviar line for night. But in the daytime, I wanted something lighter. And um, so far, so good. I haven't had any reaction to it. But yeah, sometimes I get like really watery eyes and then my makeup runs, it's a big mess. Okay, so now I tried, I'm also, um, I also told you about, um, no, I didn't tell you, I told a friend, sorry, a different friend. And this is from Trader Joe's and I read about this on YouTube and I thought, why not? They say it's it's comparable to La Mer, which I don't know about that. But anyway, it's a water-based gel um, skin cream and it's called Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. It's got aloe and green, green tea extract in it and it is very light and so far so good. I really like that one. I use that one for daytime. I guess you could use it for night as well. It almost has a gluey feel to it though. It's very cooling. It'd be really good on those hot summer days or night. I always rub what's left on my hands. Extra, extra lube. Censored. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Laneige um, sleeping lip mask. I use a little bit in the day as well as at night. I gotta use this one up. I bought a new one, the grapefruit one, and it, it smells really nice. Okay, so that's it for skincare. Oh, wait a minute. I have to use my Neutrogena. It's 30 um, SPF and um, it's a good one for when you wear makeup because a lot of them you have to be careful. It goes in your eyes and that's, that's it, especially for me. Have you ever got sunscreen in your mouth at the beach? Ugh, that's disgusting. Also, I have acrylic nails. Usually I haven't got them on today, but if I'm at the beach and I use sunscreen, it really does a number on my nails. It takes like the color off. It changes, I used to have French manicures and it really changes the, um, the color of it. They almost go gray. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with, with my foundation and I got a new one and it's the YSL and I've heard a lot of people rave about it and I've had a lot of testers in different colors and um, I found the right color again, and uh, I've been using it for about a week. Well, I've used it longer with the testers, but since I've got this bottle, I've been using it for a week. And uh, it's a nice foundation, it's a very sleek bottle. So I've tried, I've tried different ways of doing it, and I think one big pump is good enough. It's very thin in consistency, and it really does spread far. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender, and it's a Morphe blender. Um, I like it, it's got a nice, tip to it. So 
So it's getting nicer here in, in Ontario where I live. It's sunny today at least. It's been a nice couple of days already. I mean, May, what do you expect, May? May showers brings May flowers, right? And we have a lot of rain in May, always have. So next I'm gonna use, um, let me see, what is this one? It's the Ageless Rewind. What company is this? I've been using it for years. I think it's Maybelline. Yeah, it's Maybelline Age Rewind. And it's in the color light. That's a good one too, especially for mature skin. like that. And then on my lids, I'm going to use the Urban Decay. It's, um, what's it called? Eyeshadow Potion Primer, right? I'm trying to look through my mirror here so I don't have to put my glasses on all the time because they're a pain in the butt. Okay, just a little dab will do ya. Being a female is a lot of work, isn't it? But it's fun to be a girl. I sound like Marilyn Monroe. Um, you know what I forgot? A Kleenex. Oh, here's one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work put into looking as good as you can, but it's fun. And sorry guys, but uh, our wardrobe is way better, more funner. Then again, I wear pants a lot. Okay, so that's the eye primer. Oh, I know what I forgot. My powder, my famous MAC. Um, what's it called? Here we go again, Je soft and gentle. Okay. Like I said, I just uh, put some on my cheeks. I don't like a lot of powders on me. And I'm not gonna put any powder under my eyes today. Sometimes I do, I don't feel like it today. Okay, so there is that. And I'm going to use a little bit of my Smashbox contour powder, the darkest one. Like that. And you know what else I forgot? The blush, I'll get it after. Anyway, here's my Hula bronzer. I need some sun. I don't like to suntan too long, but I use a lot of SPFs when I go to the beach, but um, I'm a real pale cheesecake. And you should see my legs. They're almost fluorescent, almost see-through. <laughs> I can never tan those guys, the girls, I should say, but I hear a lot of um, reviews or read a lot of reviews on like using sprays for your legs, like Sally Hansen and um, different sprays. I used to use the um, fake tanners. I don't know. I wish one of you would let me know what's the best for, for pale people that turn orange. 
oxidize because you know how I say I oxidize in my in my makeup and in my hair colors. Um, I'm really bad with self tanners that way. I, I stopped using them because I just turned a nice orange. And of course, when you use your hands, you know what that does to you. But then again, in the days that I used to do self tanners, there wasn't so much hype about um, exfoliating like there is now. So maybe I should try that. I would like some kind of a, a lotion that's just very mild. Like I've read some things about Jergens that it's just like a cream, but it gives you a little bit of color. I gotta try again. Just to give me a base, you know, I mean, I do go in the sun and I do get some color at the top part and of course lots of damage. Even though I put sunscreen, I still get all the little freckles and little spots like everybody else. Okay, going on, see, I ramble. So, okay, what did I do now? I did the bronzer. Okay. The blush, hold on. I am. I'll be using the, my Chanel, the Golden Sun. I have to put my makeup on anyway, so I thought I'd I'd talk to you while I'm doing it. Oh, when I got a, I went to the states, of course, as you know, with my car chit chat, fashion haul, small fashion haul. Um, I I got a new highlighter, and it's a loose highlighter by Wet and Wild, and of course the YouTubers made me do it, and uh, it's great. It's really beautiful. There was only like two of these left in the Target there. But I think they had another shade. I'd like to try that one as well. This one's more of got a white cast to it, but that's okay. It's still really pretty. And you just need the tiniest, tiniest amount because you're gonna shine from far away. I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyebrow, my eye just so I don't have to put a highlighter up there. I just use such a small amount, you can always add more. And it's called, it's something about lit. Hold on. I'm so lit, that's what it's called. So that's by Wet n Wild. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm gonna just use my Anastasia Brow Definer quickly, because I know this is boring. Try to do it as quick as I can. There's this little space here. Okay. So today I'm going to use my uh, Too Faced Natural Palette. Beautiful packaging. Very neutral colors with a few shimmers. Okay. Forgot my eyeshadow brushes. I guess you like to see the rear end of me, or don't like to see the rear end of me. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the, I think it's the most neutral of the, of the palette, and it's called Strip, Strip Poker.
Then I'm gonna add a little bit of the Silk Teddy. That's a pretty peachy, um, peachy pink, I guess, frosted satin. Well, it's more of a, it's not, it's frosted, but it's not really, really shiny. Like it's not glittery or anything. Too much, too much fallout, look at that. Yeah, I should have tapped it off. <laughs> All righty. And I'm going to use a little bit of the darker in the corners. And it's called Chocolate Martini. It's a really nice palette. I had the smaller, the older version of it, and I still have it, but I had to have this case. It just looked better. Yeah, I was, it was worn out anyway. I hit pan on some of them. It's a really nice neutral palette. I think it's pretty popular with all of you. Blend it with a clean brush. I think that's good. The light's shining on one side here. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty, so now I'm going to use a different eyeliner that I like, and it's by Clinique, and it's um, pretty easy. That's the name of it, and it's in black. You gotta let this one dry. I found that a couple of times I've opened my eyes too quickly and before it was dry and it was, it does, you know, it kind of goes everywhere. So you got to watch it with these liquid liners sometimes. Especially if you go too close to the tear duct here, if you go too close and that waters, oh my goodness, what a mess with all of them. for my trusty old it superhero mascara can't stay away from it I've been wearing uh, false eyelashes lately and um, I'm not so great at it. Like it takes me time because my I can't see and then I get it stuck in my fingers, but I do like them. I use the Ardell Wispy, Demi Wispies. I like them the best, I think. I bought some uh, um, red cherry lashes. Few people have recommended those. Number 43, but I think they're a bit long for me. I'll have to try them again. They are nice. They really got a thin band.
see these little stray hairs, no matter what I do, they're all new growth from the, my shampoo system that I use. Of course, you know, I love Monate. I've been using it for two years. I think if I didn't use that, I wouldn't have any hair. <laughs> ah. Especially with the bleaching process and the weight loss. Oh, good. Look what I just did. It was recommended. The Monate system was recommended to me by a friend. And um, I wasn't too sure of it at first because it's something you have to order online and I never trust anything. But um, I tried it and it was, it, it took me I think about a month before I really liked it, that I noticed anything. And my hair breaks off, so it broke off all the time before because of the bleach, but all of a sudden, and then I got some length on my hair finally, and of course then I had the surgery. I Six months later, I started to lose hair, so now I've got to re, uh, re uh, rejuvenate it. Okay, where's those Q-tips? I know that there's a, there's a technique to taking mascara off if you, you wait till it's dry and you brush it off. But this isn't that much. So there's the eyes. Oh. And now I'm gonna just remove that Laneige. It's too greasy to put your lipstick over. And I'm gonna use my, where are you, liner? I know I brought it here, and it's not here. Oh, here it is. Here is Lisa, Lisa D1. I had this little tiny bump on my lip line. I hate them. It's like a milia bump. And you can't get rid of it so good. Anyway, this is in... S What's this one called again? Something about heels. Nude sandals. And then the lipstick, Golden Tiger. One of my favorite well-worn ones already. It's a big hit with all Lisa's fans, I can tell, with all their reviews. So anyway, there's the look for today. And I don't think I forgot anything. Actually, I, d I didn't forget it, but I can tell you about it. And it's it's a product I, I just started trying. It's by CoverGirl, and it's um, True bl Blend. It's lit, and it's, it's a brightener, a concealer brightener. If I could open it, it'd be nice and you twist it up. And I just put a little bit right here, just a touch. It's funny, I don't have any bags, but on camera, I look like I have a puffiness. I guess it's just the shadowing, right? Um, you can blend it in with your fingers or a brush or a sponge. A wet sponge, a damp, damp sponge is always the best route, isn't it? Just to get those lines, the crevices. <laughs> if you get that highlighter too close to your eyes, it's gonna show up your wrinkles. So you gotta be careful with it, stay low. Okay, so there you go. So uh, I hope you like that and uh, go put your own makeup on. <laughs> Talk to you later, bye for now.